The Roots Type Supercharger or Blower is the rotor. Roots blower rotors are available in different designs. They can be equipped with twisted lobes, for example. But they also come with straight lobes. First, we look at a very simple variant with straight lobes. The housing has two inlet ports and one exhaust port. The rotors have three straight lobes and do not touch each other. A gear wheel transmits the rotational motion. To better understand the airflow, we simply pass a colored liquid through the blower. This allows us to easily understand how the lobes convey the fluid from the suction side to the pressure side. Roots blowers used in cars usually have rotors with twisted lobes to ensure low vibration and quiet operation. Touching rotors are also not desirable here because the resulting heat would cause the supercharger to fail due to seizure or jamming. Via an air inlet equipped with an air filter, the ambient air reaches the rotors through a pipe, which transports the air down. Usually, an additional intercooler is installed below the roots type blower, where the outlet port for the compressed air is situated. The air passes through the fine metal elements that have water running through them. Thus, the air can release its high temperature created through compression to the water. The cooling occurs because hot air takes up more space. As the air gets cooled, the molecules contract. Rotation is transferred, as mentioned above, through a gear that drives another gear, since the rotors themselves must not touch each other. The rotors can then be set in motion by a belt, which is driven, for example, by the crankshaft. The air from the blower can enter the combustion chambers of the engine via the pipes shown in green, thus burning more fuel than a suction engine. As already mentioned, it is useful to cool the air so that more oxygen can be pushed into the combustion chambers.